What is up you guys? It's Keith with Stock Hours here, back with another educational video. Today we're gonna be going over how to identify strength versus weakness in the market. So let's get right into it. All right guys, for this example, we're gonna be using NQ and Tesla to base strength versus weakness off of. You can use this with ES, NQ, any stock that's listed on those markets. Um, but for this example, we're using NQ and Tesla. Uh, we're going to use this wonderful drawing that I've made here and go over kind of the baseline of what we're looking for when we're trying to find strength, weakness, or if the stock is following. So for here, on the strength side of things, you'll see we had this push right here on NQ with the same exact push on Tesla. At this point in time, we can't really identify if the stock is strong or if it's just following NQ, right? But now you'll see that NQ is taking this time to have a decent pullback and retrace almost all of that move. And what is Tesla doing? Tesla only pulled back a little bit and we're in consolidation now. And now as soon as NQ has that first green candle again, look, Tesla's already breaking the highs that it made earlier in the day. So that is a baseline of what we're looking for when we're trying to find strength. And then for the weakness side of things, it's the same thing, but just reverse it. So you'll see NQ is falling right here. Tesla has the same fall as well. You can't tell if it's weak or if it's just following the markets yet. So we need to see NQ here is retracing that move. Boom, what is Tesla doing? We have a small bounce but we also don't retrace all the way back up to the highs like we did you know on nq so nq has that first little red candle as a pullback and look here boom tesla is making lows so that is what we can so that is where we can identify the weakness on tesla right we have this tiny little pullback circling it right here and we have this big candle here breaking the lows so that is what i like to see when i'm trying to play a stock to the downside and then you can see we have another green candle here we have a tiny bounce here and then we continue to make lows and then obviously following is fairly simple um nq is pushing tesla pushes the same nq pulls back tesla pulls back the same nq breaks highs tesla breaks highs the same so that is the baseline of what we're looking for when we're trying to find strength versus weakness in the stock. The reason that this is important is because it basically gives all of our plays a boost in the markets, right? So say we're looking to play a Tesla level to the upside. Obviously, we want Tesla to be stronger than NQ because as soon as NQ gives us a little bit of what we need here, Tesla's already breaking the highs and we're already pushing forward with momentum, which is exactly what we need to see for our plays. So we went over the drawings here, which this is all fine. Um, and you can probably identify some of the stuff in the markets on your own. But what we're gonna do right now is go look for actual real life examples in the markets and see if we can find anything. Cause it's not always gonna be this crystal clear. So what we're gonna do is head over to the charts now and see if we can find some real life examples. All right guys, so we've got Tesla over here on the left chart and we've got NQ over here on the right. This is just a quick example that I just found um, from August 21st. Um, as you can see, they both say August 21st here. So what I am looking at here is we have this push with NQ. We have the same push here with Tesla. Remember how I said we can't really identify the strength yet or if it's just following the markets. But you can see on this pullback here, we, we pull back a lot steeper on NQ than we do here on Tesla, which is already a good sign of Tesla holding up compared to the market. Now we didn't continue falling, but we did do a better job of not wicking down as far, um, not taking as long in the pullback and here is where you can see the real strength, right? So if you look at this candle right here that I have my cursor on, on Tesla, you can see that this candle is at 852. Where is the previous high? Right here. So you can see we broke this previous high here at 852. Where is it when we finally break this previous high on NQ? 
All right, that is 856. So we have a, another four minutes of Tesla breaking out before NQ even gets to this previous high that it made. So this is an example of clear strength in the market. Because let's go to the 852 candle on NQ. Where is that? 850, 851, 852. So this tiny green candle here on NQ caused this whole breakout here on Tesla. So like I said, as soon as NQ gives us that first little sign that it's gonna continue in our direction, Tesla already has taken that and ran with it. So like I said, by the time that we're finally breaking out of the highs here on NQ at 8.56, we have already made our way up four candles, four straight big green candles in a row. That is a, what? 225.62 was that previous high. And we pushed all the way to 228.70 before NQ even got the chance to break its highs. So that's an example of clear strength in the market. That is something that we love to see. That would have been a play that, you know, we could have identified a very quick inverse H pattern here. And we could have taken that with the strength from NQ. That is an example of clear strength in the market, and that's what we love to see. And let's see, for example, strength dying out, right? Because at some point, we're going to end up following the market again. We're not always going to be stronger than the market. We're not always going to be weaker than the market. So at this point in time, Tesla was showing clear strength compared to NQ. Now let's see what happens at this next high. Now you can see NQ is a, a bit stronger than Tesla, right? Because Tesla has this pullback here and it has the same little pullback here on NQ and we try and make new highs on NQ. Um, we have this big pullback here and it takes this 904 candle right here on NQ. Let's see, where's the 904 candle on Tesla? 904 this red candle right here where my cursor's at. So you can see the 904 candle on NQ has already broken out of the highs. Tesla is still pulling back at this point in time. So now Tesla is doing its own thing compared to the market, right? We're not stronger, we're not weaker, it's just doing its own thing. Um, and then eventually we catch up to NQ um, and NQ has a very large retracement back towards low of day, Tesla, is still kind of doing its own thing. It's holding up compared to the market, but I definitely would not consider this stock strong, obviously, since we're downtrending at this point in time. So that just lets you know that you're not always gonna be stronger than the market. You're not always gonna be weaker than the market. Um, it comes and goes in waves. So right here, this whole opening push here, we were clearly stronger than the market. Like I said, you're not gonna know right off the initial push because they're doing the same exact thing. Just like in the drawing, they were doing the same exact thing until we get this pullback. And that's when Tesla starts to show that it's holding up compared to the market. And then boom, right here, that's clear strength. And that is a beautiful setup. So here is an example of weakness on a stock. Um, so you can see Tesla, opened we opened with a red candle we opened with a green candle here on nq but we ended up coming back up fairly quickly this is just the opening minutes which are kind of crazy anyways so there's no way to completely judge what it's doing yet but we see we push here with tesla we push here with nq we're kind of just consolidating here on nq um for the first 20 ish minutes of market open but you can see here on tesla we top out here we reject pretty hard we consolidate around this area still with nq um, we end up pushing up pushing up and then on the 839 candle which is this candle right here on nq um, it was a green to red candle we end up dropping very hard and then boom, we have another red candle here on NQ, very, very small red candle on NQ at 840, the 840 candle on Tesla, boom, all the way back down 
almost to low a day. Um, we have this big red to green candle here, 841. And we have a red to green candle here at 841. We broke below low of day. Um, keep in mind, NQ is still hanging around up here in this consolidation. So we end up pushing back up a little bit while NQ continues to push. We make highs on NQ. Tesla is nowhere near retracing its highs. And as soon as we start to give up on NQ, we have very aggressive candles to the downside. And then we break, low of day again, come back up, consolidate, break low of day again and this is where we really start selling off here so that is a good way of judging weakness as well because let's see by the time we broke low of day the third time at 850 here let's see what our 850 candle on nq looks like our 850 candle on nq is a green or a red to green candle here um going for high of day we end up breaking high of day on that next candle at 851. Go over here to 851. You'll see we have a green candle here and we wicked. Um, and then from then on, that's when NQ starts to make its way down to the bottom of this consolidation area. As soon as we break this consolidation area though, at nine o'clock, let's check the nine o'clock candle on Tesla. We are going for low of day we break low of day. So as soon as we break out of this consolidation here and just start to retrace to low of day on NQ, we're already breaking low of day on Tesla for the fourth time. Um, and then from there, it's just a very clear sell off here. We end up selling off pretty much for the rest of the day here. And I think it is the same story with NQ. So yeah, there's an example of strength and weakness in the markets. Um, Obviously, following is pretty easy because, you know, the stock and the markets will be doing the same exact thing. So, yeah, I hope you guys took something from this video. I hope you learned something. If so, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, um, turn on post notifications, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Peace.